What's going on guys, uh, Mini Call here coming at you with a, another video. This is a day 180 update. Um, if you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe down below. Um, obviously not the normal scenery that's kind of behind me. I am on a layover with work, so I am currently in St. Louis at a hotel. So uh, don't mind the decor. Um, but anyway, let's uh, just kind of jump right into the video. Um, First and foremost, we normally just start these off with uh, just showing off where the account is. So right over here, day 180 up top, uh, going on back over. Uh, it's been a little bit of a busy day with work, so I am a bit behind on kind of just collecting some things uh, for the day. So I'll probably be doing that on screen. But um, anyway, uh, let's kind of just continue on through. Second thing we kind of normally touch on is um, looking at the collection power. Uh, so I believe I was in the 1.5 mil um, with the last video. So this one I'm at 1 1.6. Um, so pretty much kind of right on track. Um, typically I would say I gain uh, just about 100k in power um, every 10 days or so. So we are kind of basically on the normal path that uh, normally occurs with these type of things. Um, other things we're kind of looking at, um, and other things that have, I guess have occurred, um, I did hit level 75, which uh, I did that yesterday, actually, so uh, that was really cool. Um, you know, obviously starting to take characters up a little bit. Um, kind of a couple things have kind of happened uh, that have been a bit on the good side of things. Um, so my symbiotes are finally able to get to actually the third quadrant in uh, U7.2, actually on auto. Um, the third quadrant is still that boss quadrant, and I do still um, need to do that one, um, actually, like, playing through. Um, so, you know, still doing that, um, but... So basically what I've done um, is I've kind of cut back a little bit on my resources kind of going directly to them, and I'm actually going back towards my resources back into PimTech, um, mainly with my training mats, and um, so... Sorry about that, just trying to figure out this light over here. Um, so with the training mats, I am focusing now more on going back to the PimTech, and I'm just going to turn this light off because it is not doing anything. All right. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, so going back to uh, PimTech, I am going back to getting them to level 75. The main reasoning behind this is planning to take them into Dark Dimension 3. Um, PimTech will cover the first eight nodes of Dark Dimension 3 for me and kind of give me time to figure out who I'm planning to take into the Cosmic Lanes, which are basically the only lanes I don't have assigned and figure out quite yet. Obviously, for the city nodes in Dark Dimension 3, I will be planning to take in some variation of the symbiotes, and primary focus obviously being symbiote Spider-Man, Carnage, and Anti-Venom, and then if I'm able to get um, Scream and Venom up, I will take them in also, but um, Dark Dimension is actually doable with just the three of those characters. Um, I did just actually finish that um, on uh, Dracarys, finished his first run through on that. But um, anyway, so I am working on gearing up my PimTech to level 75. And basically, as I am getting the training mats, I am putting them in. As you just saw with uh, Ghost over here. I think planning-wise, I am going to do... Um, Ghost is going to be my first priority, just because she is a little bit on the expensive side. Um, and then after Ghost, uh, Yellow Jacket, and then I believe I will do Ant-Man, Stature, and then Wasp will be probably my final um, take-through. Um, the only reason I'm saying Stature um, after Ant-Man, I'm actually planning to level them kind of at the same time, but Stature is bio gear, so um, I don't have a lot of bio resources right now just because of uh, leveling up the symbiotes. Um, but anyway, so that's where they are. Um, other things I'm working on... Um, I am working on Mutant Gear. I did unlock Iceman uh, with his Blitz going on right now. So um, I am planning to start leveling him up and actually increasing his gear level. But like I just said, all of my training mats are, are going towards PimTech. So once I get PimTech 275, I can then have training mats for Iceman and hopefully start making progress again in the Doom campaigns as well as the Heroes 7 campaigns. Um, 
Farming wise, uh, still kind of doing the same thing. I am farming stature. I am farming wasp for my villain nodes. And then I am farming uh, Loki and Thor. Uh, Thor is my hero character that I'm farming. And originally the plan was to unlock Black Bolt uh, with his next pass. However, uh, Scopely did the old switcheroo. And Black Bolt is now coming a lot sooner. Um, so the plan will be to unlock Black Bolt on his next, next pass. But, um, that's neither here nor there. Um, so that's what I'm doing farming-wise. Um, any other resources I have, I am working on mutant gear. Um, like I said, the kind of goal is to be able to take Iceman up um, as quickly as I can once I actually get the training mats to be able to do so. Um, other things we are working on, I'm just going to go into my inbox and uh, just collect my mail real fast. Um, like I said, it's been a bit of a busy day with work. Um, <clears throat> I am planning to um, do a video, kind of a follow-up video, um, on a kind of new blitz strategy I've been kind of imploring, or employing? Employing on uh, this current blitz, actually, with Khaleesi. Um, and it actually still applies um, <clears throat> for... You know, I can actually show it off a little bit on Mini, but I don't want this video to go, like, too long. Um... So I'm going to show it on Khaleesi. Um, but so I've been working on a new blitz, blitz strategy, and I'll be doing a video on that in just a few. But um, anyway, uh, kind of continuing our little walkthrough of the account. Um, looking over here, kind of in the training store or in the gold store rather, um, still buying gold items that are basically I need that are under a hundred. Um, not so much the unique pieces like this. And I am also kind of stockpiling uh, gear 15. Um, mini is still quite a ways from that, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to start saving that stuff now. Um, purple gear, kind of the same thing. Um, buying purple gear that is under a hundred that I know I need, and that is not uniques. And what I mean by uniques is the pieces, let's see... Um, I don't have a purple unique currently, um, but for example, a gold unique would be these, which they're only used by like certain characters. Um, and I, if they're not characters, I'm planning on building up to G13, 14, 15, etc. I don't really see a point in buying these quite yet. Um, but uh, anyway, so Blitz Store, kind of the same thing. I'm just opening up these Blitz Orbs. Nothing has changed there in the last six months, um, so still just basically farming characters. Um, raid store, kind of the same thing. I am occasionally, when I see him pop up, I am buying my Thor shards, um, but then otherwise I am just kind of focused on um, farming uh, more so gear than characters. Um, and I'm just kind of more in the phase right now where I feel like gear is helping me a lot more than star level for some characters. Um, so pieces like this where I know I'm working on a bunch of mutants, um, I'm definitely going to stockpile on that, even though it's already over 100. Um, those mats go really fast, especially when you're leveling multiple mutants at a time. So I still have Iceman to level up as well as uh, Bishop. So um, making sure that I just kind of have a constant... Um, surplus of uh, those materials. Um, other things like this, kind of the same thing. It's under 100, and I know I'm going to use it. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. And then for purple uniques, I haven't been buying those. And blues, um, I just don't really see a point at this point. Um, <clears throat> in my arena store, uh, still farming crystal, and the idea is to unlock Ebony Maw eventually. Um, that is dependent on obviously having Black Bolt first. Um, so I will not be getting Maw on his next pass, but Hopefully the pass after that. Um, once I get Crystal to 200, I will then work on a different character. And I honestly haven't even decided um, who that's going to be. Um, most likely, I will probably keep up the Ebony Maw theme and actually start farming Quake, as she is an Inhuman also, and uh, she will be needed to unlock Ebony Maw. Um, so actually, that probably will be my next character. Um, in the War Store... Um, kind of the same thing. Um, I am buying orange gear that is unique um, or ghost shards. Um, and so like this right here, um, this is a unique I know I need. So I'll go ahead and buy this. Um, 
but I'm not buying it uh, too excessively, I guess. So, I mean, even if it's under 100, um, like these superior phosphates, I'm not going to go ahead and buy them just because they are, you know, farmable. Um, they're not farmable for many at the moment, but they are farmable. Um, so I'm only really buying ones that I need at this exact moment. Um, in the Elite Store, um, still really haven't seen too much pop up for me. Um, Mini is actually getting close to having enough uh, gold promotion credits to actually get a 7-star uh, buy, but again, I don't really have anyone even close to that level, so haven't really started considering that um, all that much. Um, let's see, other things that are going on um, in the arena... I do still need to uh, finish up my arena fights for the day, and uh, I think I've got, you know, I've got roughly about 30 minutes, so I'll get that done before server resets for myself. Um, what else do we got going on? Uh, Dark Dimension, we are done with that, so no reason to talk about that. Um, Alliance, donations, um, again, kind of the same thing um, in the same spot, really. Um, just kind of donating on a regular basis. And then um, I seem to forget to spend these um, a little bit more frequently than I should. But um, when I do remember, I go in and I pop in. Um, like I said, I'm doing, I did bio first. Following that, since I am using um, mutants in the campaign that I'm currently in, I am also working on my mutants. And then following my mutants, I will then go into tech. And between the bio and tech ones in particular, that actually fully covers the, sim uh, the PIM tech team. But uh, anyway, so kind of spending that when I remember, um, I would say, you know, worst case, um, if you're kind of like me and you tend to forget, um, try to do it maybe at least once a week. Um, just because you are doing yourself a little bit of a disservice as uh, not spending that kind of immediately. Um, I've apparently earned an achievement, which is exciting. So um, other things kind of going on, looking at the roster. Um, so currently I've got favorited uh, Pimtech obviously up here, um, and little Ant-Man down here got separated. And then I've got my mutants that I am currently planning to kind of take me through the next couple of nodes. And I can actually unfavorite Cyclops, I think, because he is done. Um, so I've got my mutants that I'm planning to kind of take me through um, the remaining hero nodes, and my kind of philosophy or my thinking is going to be kind of a modified Astonishing X-Men. So I'm taking in all the Astonishing X-Men except Jubilee because I don't have her, and I am subbing out Jubilee with X-23. We'll see how that works. Um, if that doesn't work, I've also got the possibility of subbing in either Cyclops or Colossus, um, kind of just depending you know, I guess what the situation is and what I'm missing in the team. Um, other than that, um, I think that's pretty much uh, what's going on with the account. Um, you know, like I said, um, I am still um, leveling up characters um, star-wise, um, kind of organically. Um, I'm not particularly farming any of these characters. I haven't really worked on any of these characters. I don't have any plans to work on any of these characters. Um, you know, it's just kind of taking them up as I need them. Um, I think as I transition into the next campaign node um, outside of the mutants, I'll do a video on that, on who I'm planning to take in. Um, if anyone needs any assistance in possibly theory crafting teams, I'm certainly happy to provide that. Um, but I think I'm going to kind of wrap this up. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much the day 180. We're so officially at the six month mark, um, which is, you know, pretty exciting. I'm thinking as soon as I can get my characters up to 75, I should actually be entering Dark Dimension 3 with Mini. And uh, so we will see how that goes and uh, look forward to producing that content for y'all as well. And uh, again, thank y'all so much for watching. If you did find this video helpful, please like and subscribe, um, especially for more Marvel Strike Force content. Um, and look for that uh, Blitz strategy video in the very near future. Uh, thank you again for watching, and have a good night.